In part four of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, the setting of Moriocho is home to dozens of different types of subcultures, be it the Yankees in the form of Josuke, or the Otakus in the form of Hazamata, to even the speed-loving, bike-racing Bozuzokus in the form of the fashionable and flamboyant Yuya Fungami and his stand, Highway Star. Yuya Fungami is a speed-loving biker who raced the streets of Moriocho, gathering his own following due to his good looks and attractive personality, all before the summer of 1999, where he had a drunken car crash leaving him hospitalized with spinal damage and almost all of his bones broken. Though in his broken state, his desire to get healthy again willed the stand arrow of Yoshihira Kira towards him, granting him his stand, Highway Star. But before we get into that, we should discuss the meaning behind his name. Yuya Fungami's name matches up great with his personality and his love of fast racing. As you see, Yuya's given name when broken down means to be rich with or have an abundance of, which by itself is an incomplete sentence and doesn't make much sense, but when you match it up with his family name, you get Yuya Fungami, with Fungami meaning eruption, so altogether, the name means to be rich with eruptions or have an abundance of eruptions, which, given that it's a literal translation, it comes off as basically nonsense. But if you interpret the names in a different way, you start to notice something, because you see, to be rich with or have an abundance of implies that you have power or a ruling over something, or in other words, you are the king of something. An eruption is a common term used for going fast or moving at a high speed. So, an interpretation of Yuya Fungami could be easily read as King of Speed, or more accurately, Speed King. Now the name Speed King is in reference to the English rock band Deep Purple's 1970s hit Speed King, which is a song that was popular among fans of Deep Purple, so much so that the band used it for many years to open their tours, being made popular due to the guitar work and the usage of the whammy bar. Though the song itself was popular among fans, the band grew to dislike it, admitting that a lot of the song is just references to other songs, thus they wanted to make a new opener to replace it at some point, as they both wanted to create something more original to themselves, and they were just getting sick of playing it so much. And the song that they wrote to replace it is the same song that gives Yuya Stan its name, that being Highway Star. Highway Star is a long-range stand with both a humanoid form that can then break down into a couple dozen feet-shaped automatic stand. Now, while it is in humanoid form, it resembles that of an Egyptian pharaoh, with its false pharaoh's beard, which was a beard worn mostly by the clean-shaven rulers of Egypt to show their sign of rulership. This matches well thematically with the Speed King origin for the song, and the fact that Yuya's name means Speed King, so of course his stand would have some sort of kingly demeanor to it. Also, its placement on the chin mirrors that of Yuya himself with his Highway Star tattoo on his own chin. Along with this, the net-like pattern on Highway Star is described by Araki as a way of giving the stand a 3D-like feel so it popped out to the readers even if it was a flat image, which fits quite well with the high-stakes chase of the Highway Star fight and how that the stand pops out to the readers the same way that the stand is pursuing Josuke. And the way it pursues Josuke is through one of its many abilities. You see, Highway Star is a Renaissance man stand with a multitude of powers, all different but matching quite well with Yuya as a person. So let's start first with the first ability we see, that being building in the eyes of the beholder, or the room shaping ability. How this ability works is Highway Star creates a room in a set location, this room then projects an illusion to all those with a strong enough will. This room will change to match the beholder, taking the form of something that would cause the person to investigate the room. An example of this is when Rohan sees it, he sees a figure that resembles Kira in it, and the point of the room is basically to lure people in so Yuya and Highway Star can get the scent of the person. And once the stand has the person's scent, then the next ability can activate. If a person chooses to flee from the room before Highway Star makes its appearance, they will be pursued by one of its abilities. That being Highway Star's High Speed Hunt. How this works is once Highway Star has a scent nailed down, it will begin to endlessly pursue a target in a mindless dash. And just trying to run from it isn't really an option. Because you see, Highway Star can reach up to speeds of 60 kilometers an hour or nearly 40 miles per hour. Thus, getting away from it at a consistent speed, you're gonna need a motorcycle or a car or some form of automobile. 
Daniel. And while it's chasing down a target, it takes the form of unattached feet stomping on the ground after the target. Though, these feet can reassemble into the humanoid form. And the way this assembling and disassembling is described by Araki is it's meant to resemble the children's toy called the Dorama Otoshi, which is a Dorama doll on top of five small colored pieces that are meant to be smacked away with a little hammer. The point of the game is to knock away the pieces without toppling the Dorama. Though this ability itself resembles something about Yuya's own personality, but we'll get more into that later. Now, if any of the pieces of the stand catch up to the target and touch them, the next ability begins to kick in, this being Life Force Strain. How this works is once Highway Star touches a target, it begins to burrow into them, and while inside them, the stand will begin to drain and funnel the target's life force or nutrients towards Yuya. While this is taking place, the target will flash semi-transparent, almost like they're being electrocuted, showing their inner skeleton. And this draining effect is also stated to be incredibly exhausting, making it difficult for the target to move or do anything whatsoever. And the more feet attached to a target, the quicker the draining effect seems to take place. Though Highway Star does not need to be disassembled to use this ability. Along with this, Yuya usually prefers to slow burn his targets, trying to get as much life force from them as possible. That way he can recover quicker from his injuries. But he claims that if he wanted to, he could completely drain a target of all of their nutrients whenever he wants to, leaving them nothing more than an emaciated corpse. Now, Highway Star's abilities seem extremely powerful on the surface, but it does have a few weaknesses. First, of course, being that in its hunt mode, it becomes a mindless automatic stand, which just pursues a target scent endless, so that means it can be tricked. Which doesn't work well with the fact that Highway Star is also really lacking in the physical strength category. It doesn't seem to have strength beyond that of Yuya's own, even in its humanoid form. So, if you're quick-witted enough, you can capture or trick the stand into a position that it can't get out of, like sealing it in a car. Though, it does have a way of circumventing this to a degree. The feet that Highway Star can break apart into are elastic to some degree and can wiggle their way through openings like elevator doors, though it does take a lot more time to do this than it would normally moving. Also, the draining effect could be counteracted by someone with just a large abundance of spiritual energy or nutrients, as seen when Josuke survives his ordeal by sucking on Yuya's IV bag. Along with this, if you are able to maintain above 40 miles per hour in some way, you can outrun the stand and it has no hopes of catching you, unless Yuya himself is able to move up to your speed. Now, as I mentioned, Highway Star gets its name from the Deep Purple song of the same name, which was created to replace the song Speed King. And Highway Star itself is not really about much. It doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but it is the story of a racer who just wants to ride his fast, tricked out sports car against other people, which matches up quite well with Yuya's own racer mentality and his ego. Though, the high-paced beat of the song does fit quite well with the action of the Highway Star fight. With its bike chase and constant looming threat, it feels like Araki was really writing this arc around the pace of the song, which he admits is one of the way that he does write stand fights, making it great listening material when you're reading the arc itself. We also see this connection between Speed King and Highway Star in Yuya's own design, with not only him having a tattoo on his chin that is likely his racer name given his groupies have the same tattoo on their arm, but also his racing scarf has the word Speed King and Highway written on it with stars around them. Along with this, Highway Star's multiple ability seems to reflect Yuya's own personality and personal abilities, with Yoshihiro himself even saying that a stand reflects the user's own personality. Starting first with his scent-based tracking skills, which seem to be an enhanced version of Yuya's own personal scent-based skills, which he has developed naturally, as Yuya by himself is able to determine whether a fruit is rotten before it's peeled, and is able to smell that his girls were at a pachinko parlor before showing up at the hospital due to the scent of sweat on their asses. Along with this, it's also possible that his stand breaking apart into feet-shaped objects is a joke on the inherent connection between feet and stinking. Though for a more thematic connection to his abilities, you have his room creation ability, which I assume reflects Yuya's own personality as he puts on this tough guy facade all the time, which attracts in groupies as they see what they want to see, and they make him out to be this great hero when deep down he's much more cowardly, as shown with both his interactions with Josuke, and the fact that he himself says that he wants to be the person that other people see him as. Though this cowardly nature does shine through in another aspect of his stand, and that being that it can disassemble itself into multiple multiple automatic stands, aka stands that do not transfer damage to their user, it's also interesting that this disassemble ability is used more when Yuya himself is in a broken state, where when he is in a better place both physically and mentally, he only really uses it to keep up with a speeding vehicle, which I feel shows Yuya's growth as a person through the use of his stand. Because at the start of part 4, Yuya was nothing more than a cowardly racer with a huge ego who put on a tough guy act so he could attract groupies to feed that ego of his. 
But as time goes on, the more that he interacted with the Moriocho boys, he slowly finds himself becoming the man he was pretending to be all this time. Someone who's willing to stand up and fight when they need to. And this change is best seen in him using the physical humanoid form of his stand throughout most of the Enigma fight. Showing that Yuya has fully replaced his old Speed King ways with his new Highway Star. Which fits thematically with the origins for Highway Star, but also thematically with the tone of Part 4. As we see people who aren't the best shift to those who are more honest with themselves and aid the protagonists in protecting the Golden Heart of Morio. Yuya himself even describes his beauty as truly on par with that of Michelangelo's David, and honestly, I can't help but agree with him. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash guy. And if you want to become a highway star of your own, well, first, you're going to head on over to buyshimonetta.com and buy yourself a copy of Shimonetta. Get you right on that road, that highway to success.